ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, vlog fam, it's that time again. Um, I'm gonna do my at-home laser hair removal. So I thought I would just do it in the vlog. And I also wanted to give you guys an update on how that's been going because I started using this like six months ago. So this is the Kenzie IPL handset for at-home laser hair removal. So the spot that I was mostly concerned with, um, I'm gonna work on doing my whole body before summer starts since I'm just at home now. But my biggest concern, which I have been focusing this on, is my upper lip. So I talked about how when I got off of Accutane a few years ago, I started developing darker hairs around my upper lip, like, a lot and it was really really frustrating so i looked into getting it lasered and um it was really expensive so this has been a saving grace so in the beginning i was doing it one time per week and i started to notice the hair was getting less and less after three or four treatments but you see the full results after 12 which i have passed i barely get any hair up here now truly i'm amazed um and i'm really really thankful that i discovered this um laser hair removal can be super expensive you can do this at home right now you know nothing's open we can do this at home and get ready for summer coming up it's less invasive if you don't want like to go somewhere and get your bikini line done i'm gonna work on that and my legs for summer because it's just really easy to do so to maintain the results that i have now i usually do this once a month so that's for my upper lip since i have finished treatments on that i did i had a bunch of little black hairs here all the time and i always saw them under makeup and it has gotten so so smooth um a little peach fuzz because it doesn't remove like blonde or like light hair it only removes hair with a darker pigment i wanted to show you guys how i use it in case you haven't seen me talk about this yet um, and just kind of share with you how it works. So you plug it in. On the back here is the power button. It's super easy to use, super sleek. On the back here, along with this power button, when you press it, you can turn up the strength. See how those little dots moved up? So I put mine on the, the highest strength because it's literally just like a doop, doop. <laughs> like it, does, it doesn't hurt. It's just like a quick little pop. Like it doesn't hurt your skin or anything. So, um... When you do each section, you are supposed to shave the area first. I really don't have like anything up here. But I'm going to make sure the area is like 100% smooth. And then I just hold it. And I put it against the skin, push the button. It's that simple. It's so fast and the results are so popping. Um, I would recommend, unless you're like super sensitive or maybe on like a sensitive area like your bikini line, start a little lower. But honestly, I put it up to the highest strength and I've seen really nice results. And it's cute, it's easy to store. I literally keep it in my desk in my office. It has taken so much time off of my beauty regimen because I used to have to shave this or wa waxing my upper lip drove me crazy because I'd get little like blemishes or like little pimples, tiny little blackheads or whiteheads, right, whiteheads, uh, belong my mustache line after I'd wax. And I'd have to, if I didn't do waxing, I'd have to shave it like every day because you can see it so much with makeup on. So it's been a game changer. If you struggle with this, you're going to love it. Um, I'm excited to do my bikini line and my legs for summer. So that's another thing I'll keep you guys posted on. I'm going to be using that consistently now. Um, because my upper lip has reached its full results and it's amazing. You're going to save a lot of time and money by doing this at home with the Kenzie IPL laser hand set. It's popping. I've been using it, like I said, for a long time. I've reached my full results and I 10 out of 10 recommend it's bomb. So like I said, um, for the first few treatments, you'll notice the hair less and less and less. Um, it even works with like really thick, coarse hair. But like I said, it, it's not gonna help with like just peach fuzz, but it's great because you'll start to see it work after a couple of weeks and then consistently, consistently, it's just less and less and less and then it's pretty much none. Um, I'm very impressed. So um, Kenzie is super dope, highly recommend. They are awesome and giving you guys a code LTPF50 for $50 off your very own Kenzie. I'll put a link down below. I highly recommend, especially now when we're all just like at home quarantined. I have been doing so many beauty 
regimens throughout this honestly like feeling pretty good <laughs> so get your smooth skin and now's the time especially with summer coming so uh yeah that's my results i want to keep you guys posted i will continue to keep you guys posted in vlogs with uh, my legs my bikini line but amazing results on my upper lip like a life changed so i'm gonna run down and tackle and tackle bubba no 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 hi 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 we we fight a lot but not not real fight play fight we play fight and then i hurt him with my ring <laughs> and it's a weapon mm. So today, follow me around. Let's pretend like we're on TV. On today's agenda, got this in PR. So it's the Photo Focus Foundation in Dewey. So we're gonna try this out. Cause I love the Photo Focus Foundation, but I'm so glad they came out with uh, Dewey. So we'll try that at some point, but brought these up from the basement. I'm gonna go ahead and pack away our winter coats and winter shoes. It's a project. It will clear up some space though for spring stuff. I'm wearing my Fabletics today. Um, these are the Motion 365 leggings. They're my favorite for when I'm like at home. They just feel like a second skin. They're really soft and so stretchy and not like too compression-y. So let's do this. Talk to me, baby. I've been waiting for a lifetime. Just keep on fading in all these photos. Caught in the memories and captured in So I spent the majority of the morning and afternoon cleaning and organizing as you saw. All of our winter stuff is packed away. Um, organized the closet downstairs, you guys saw all of it. So super productive day. It's five o'clock now and I'm gonna give myself a gel manicure. I have UV light, nail polish, and everything I think I need. So I'm gonna give myself a gel mani. And then I'm going to cook us some dinner. I'm going to try a turkey meatloaf recipe I've never tried before. So we'll do that together and see how it goes. about to start dinner like I said turkey meatloaf and we're gonna have some um, sweet potato with it on the side as well maybe some corn or salad too I'm not sure so I downloaded the all recipes app because I found like whenever I was researching recipes they were often from all recipes the website so I downloaded the app and I love it because I can like add things to my favorites for different categories oh also I did my nails. I think you guys saw. They're not perfect. <laughs> I'm not a great nail painter. That was like one part of cosmetology school I sucked at, but I love that it's gel and that it's not going to <laughs> come off tomorrow, hopefully, like with regular polish. So 
Love this app, highly recommend. So I have it saved under my favorites. I will link it below. The recipe is super simple. I've actually never made meatloaf, but my mom used to make it and I really like it. So we have some ground turkey, breadcrumbs, eggs, salt, pepper, cheese. All right, I'll link the recipe down below. <laughs> Wish me luck. I have not vlogged today at all. It's eight o'clock at night. I look hot mess, like hot mess. We have a project today because it's home renovation time, baby. We've had this chandelier and these lights to put up for so long and that's what we tackled today. It took hours and hours and hours. And the old light fixtures were a little bit bigger, so we're gonna have to patch that. But um, I'm so, so happy with these light fixtures. Um, thank God for YouTube tutorials. So I will link them. They were pretty affordable from Amazon and World Market. So just think they really look really pretty. So they're all gold, very boho. Oh, I got to clean up like this <laughs> has been the longest day ever. It's just like stuff everywhere on the floor but like is that not just like the prettiest light fixture ever and I love the effect it puts on the ceiling it's been really like productive in this quarantine because we've had a lot of home projects that we've been wanting to do but like we both just get caught up in like being busy so working on just getting the house where we want it feels really good Ugh, I'm like swooning we just finished I'm exhausted like I'm so tired so that was today I'm gonna go clean everything up we just ordered pizza for dinner because I'm not cooking it's another day later I spent the whole day what like what is that that's just like a mood right there I spent the whole day filming and editing my makeup not my makeup my quarantine morning routine and then we just had dinner and then I just went on the elliptical for 30 minutes and I chatted with Gabby during it. <laughs> we had a little phone hangout sesh. So now I'm going to go take a shower and okay, that's it. I think we were just really tired from installing these light fixtures yesterday. Yesterday. So and then I filmed all day today and edited. It's just been like a lot of work. Like not vloggable work because we've been focused. So my bad but lashes are thriving i wonder if you guys can hear let me turn off the fan that's my neighbor his name's jeff he's quite lovely he's a nice man but uh he likes to do projects outside all day not complaining he's a lovely man but it's just interesting like <laughs> yesterday he was repelling from a tree <laughs> cutting down parts of the tree tonight he is it's eight o'clock at night it's pretty much dark tonight he's wood chipping the day before that he was lawn mowing he'll probably lawn mow again tomorrow anyway he's interesting i'm gonna take a shower get ready for bed so you guys have been raving about face halo because i like to use the makeup eraser. So you guys said I would love these little guys, Face Halo. They were on sale, so I'm hyped. They were like 20% off. And you just wet it and it takes your makeup off. So as you can just do it really gently. Oh, okay. Real talk, I don't have to push this anywhere near as hard as I have to wipe with the makeup eraser. It's totally, oh totally different fabric like this is way easier to use and I like how it has two sides still I like the little circle motion it's very firm as well it's like 
easy to use. As it said on the directions, you can be gentle. You don't have to like tug or rub. And yeah, it's taking everything off without having to rub or put a lot of pressure, which isn't great for your skin. Even taking off my mascara. And there's no soap on this, it's just water, literally. <laughs> this is a light makeup day too. You guys put me on. Obsessed with this, thank you guys. And then you just throw it in the wash. So I got two packs of three, so you can use one every night and throw in the wash. So we usually do laundry on Saturday or Sunday, so I'll be good for the week. And I'm not even wearing makeup every day right now, so I'm um, obsessed. Good morning. Literally, I cannot sleep normal. Anyway, I tried it again. <laughs> tried this freaking TikTok thing again. I didn't even film it last night, but here we are. I just woke up. Oh, by the way, it's... Oh, my God. <laughs> Put my glasses on like, oh, shit. It's snowing. I still have my retainer in. It's snowing. This is what I look like. This is like actually comical. You guys see the best of me. It's a lot of snow. I'll show you guys. So apparently last time I did it wrong because I like braided it with the rope or the rope tie rather. And you're supposed to wrap the hair around. So that's what I did this time. I hope I did it right. I watched several tutorials. <laughs> And I'm hoping to have like the most beautiful curls. This part sucks. This is just like a whole hot mess. But I think it's just because my robe tie is so long because I am plus size, more real estate. So it's Saturday. We try not to work much on the weekends and just like spend quality time. So we both, you know, work all week from home right now. So I think we're gonna hang out today and binge watch more of that show we've been loving called Home After Dark. Oh, that doesn't look promising. Oh God, I shouldn't, I'm gonna stop. This is the last time, this is the last time I do this. And we also might play a game. And just like hang out, be cozy, enjoy a snow day for hopefully the last time. Oh, okay, okay, maybe. Maybe. Okay, actually it's kind of beautiful. And it definitely doesn't look like braids like it did last time. It has more of like that curl. Some people's were a lot bigger though. I'm wondering if it's because I'm using a robe tie that's like really thin. And I think other people's are more like dense because that would give you a bigger curl. It's actually kind of pretty. Like it's actually really pretty. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad I at least did it right. It's definitely not perfect, but like I could totally touch it up with a curly wand. All right. Finally, Alex got it. <laughs> okay, so I just took the time and like brushed it out and put some oil throughout and it's so, so pretty. Like, it's definitely not like perfect, but it still looks like really pretty. Like that's kind of how my waves look when I use my wand. Uh, the ends are a little janky because it's really hard to like tie up the ends, but I could just easily fix that. Like this takes out a lot of work and it's very voluminous, kind of obsessed. So that's it. Like it's literally full blown <laughs> snow. Okay, to wrap up this vlog, I might be doing something I'll regret, <laughs> but what else is new? So this for me started when I saw Gabriella Fortunato. She does like plus size fashion and things like that too. She did at home lash extensions. And I know what you're thinking. Alex, you're allergic to at home lash extensions. What are you doing? This is different. They're not really lash extensions. So it's just basically Ardell little individuals that you put on with this special Ardell lash glue. <sighs> God, am I gonna regret this? But you know, I'm in quarantine, so like it's okay if I regret it. It's okay if I have a reaction. I can't help but feel like this is totally different than like real lash extensions. Um, and then I saw Alex Garza do it. I'm like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. So I ordered it. I ordered it. <laughs> so I have <clears throat> Ardell Professional Soft Touch Lashes Individuals. 
They look like this. I ordered a different pack, but they haven't come in. I ordered these back when I saw Gabriella's video, like over a week ago, maybe two weeks ago. And then we have the Ardell Lash Tight Glue. And apparently these stay on for like a week. And that'd be nice because I honestly really don't wear makeup much during this time. So we're gonna try it. <laughs> in Gabriella's video, she put them on under her lash. And then in um, Alex Garza's video, she puts them on top. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> it kind of freaks me out to put them underneath, to be honest. I have you guys right in front of my mirror. So we'll be up close and personal <laughs> while I do this. <laughs> Cause like the mirror's right behind you. So like, here we are, like I'm gonna be looking in the mirror. I'm actually gonna bring this closer. I mean, why not? It's quarantine, baby. There's our glue. And this is gonna be the last segment of the vlog because after this I'm gonna need a freaking nap. Put a little clump of glue on the back of this. I'm just gonna go for it. Just took a little bit of glue on the tip. I'm gonna, oh God. <laughs> I'm gonna use like a little handheld mirror. I'm gonna do it on top, I think. One is on. Oh, it's so cute. These are gonna be pretty subtle, I think. I think I should have got the longer ones, but you know what? They're only gonna last a few days. These are supposed to sit like, oh, that touched my eyeball. Oh, I just pulled both off. Oh my God. Oh, this is gonna be the longest experiment of my life. Oh no. I suck at individual lashes. Whoever can do these, you're talented. Cause I never could. All right, I think it's just the edges that are gonna be hard. I'm gonna start in the middle. And there's one little guy. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I really need to focus, so I don't know if I'm going to be talking much during this. Number two. Fun. Three. Okay, look at that little guy. I definitely needed longer ones. I mean, these are like pretty teeny, teeny tiny, but they'll do. They just add a little something, something. These are the medium black, not free tapered. Like I feel like these would look really pretty on like the inner corner, but not necessarily like the whole lash. If these actually stay in place, it's working. Oh my God, I'm doing it. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself. You can barely see them, but I'm still proud of myself. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished my right eye and I ended up doing like kind of um, multiple in certain spots just to make it a little thicker and it honestly looks really good. I love it. I hope I don't have an allergic reaction, but like this is so much less intense than like real lash extensions where they're putting it on your lash. Like this is just sitting on top. I hope I don't have an allergic reaction. I may have just ruined my whole rest of my quarantine. <laughs> if you guys hadn't seen the videos when I had lash extension, allergic reaction, I had it twice and it was a hot mess for a long time. But at least um, I'm mentally prepared for the worst. If I'm gonna have an allergic reaction to this, I'll notice it in about a couple hours, I'll get red. So I just don't think it's anywhere near as intense. And I know a lot of you guys are probably watching this and you're like, Alex, why would you even risk it? <laughs> you know. It's quarantine and every day I'm resisting cutting my hair from home. So this was next best thing. So uh, I'm gonna do this side and I'll show you guys how it looks. But so far, 
kind of obsessed. Okay, guys, I just finished. These kind of slap, though. They look so good. I actually kind of like the length because they just look really natural and really subtle. And honestly, once you get in the groove, it's really not that hard to do. Once you kind of just like get it down, they're definitely not perfect, but I think they look pretty good because like not wearing makeup every day, it's been nice. It feels kind of nice and then it feels good when you put makeup on because it's like, oh, I miss makeup. So it's fun. Um, I love these. I will keep you guys posted in the next vlog how they are wearing, if they are lasting, and if I'm having an allergic reaction. So I'll keep you guys posted, but I'll probably keep you posted on Instagram, actually. So follow me there if you guys want to see what's going on so you don't have to wait for a vlog. But I'm going to wrap this up here. I love you guys so much. See you in the next vlog. Bye. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up. <laughs>